If you haven't subscribed already, ring that bell to get notified when new movies are posted. Hey, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, and today I want to show you guys something a little bit special. This is the Clary Smart Planter, and you know that's one of the questions. Well, how how smart can a planter be? I think they've done something really interesting here. This is not uh, currently, at least, not HomeKit or Google or Amazon um, compatible, uh, so it's something to to just think about right up front. But um, for me, as as you guys know, I'm I'm very uh, passionate about air quality in general, and what I really like about this is um, the filter itself is the plant. So this is a company out of Italy that uses uh, traditional Italian ceramic techniques to make these um, pots, but they have they have put a lot of science in here as well. Um, it's self-watering, which means you just water in the bottom of it. You can kind of see there's that little red dipstick kind of thing in the uh, picture. So you'll be aware when you need to add more water. There is a VOC sensor, a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor. It is Wi-Fi connected uh, in the 2.4 gigahertz range. And what's really cool about this, which we'll kind of show you a little bit in the video, is that's actually a fan. The big black thing in the front is a fan that the pot, there is an inner pot that's aerated that allows the air, the outside polluted air full of VOCs and, and, and other bad things that we shouldn't be breathing, um, to actually come into the pot where it's going to circulate amongst the roots, which is really the part of the plant that can do a lot of the air purification, at least according to the science. Um, so let, we'll, we'll go a little, uh, little more into this, but um, I'm also going to put some links below in the, the video details. Um, really, if you're going to have an air purifier, why not let it be beautiful, right? Uh, and the science in here, again, the links will be in the details below. Go check those out. Take a read. See see what they've done here. I think it's really interesting and I really, really like the blending of, you know, the traditional artisan pot um, with the science that they're using to uh, improve the air that we're breathing. So as you can imagine, this is a fairly large box. It doesn't quite uh, fit in in the light box. So I'm going to be doing this a little, little freehand here on the filming. So my apologies for the shaky video. It's a natural filter, mobile app, ceramic filter. You can see here all the good information you want there. Um, again, it, it kind of explains there's an app store, uh, Apple App Store, so iOS, as well as Google Play. This is available on Android, where you get their app. Uh, air quality analysis, healthy feedback, and plants encyclopedia. One nice touch, which we will get into, is um, Clary has actually given us, here we go, you can see a list here of plants and giving us a little bit of an idea of which plants are actually going to help with our air purification. So the snake plant, peace lily, um, flamingo lily, right? So there's a bunch of different ones there. And they also give you um, a little bit of how they're going to be to take care of. How much water do they need? Uh, flamingo lilies are notoriously hard to take care of because of the humidity required. Um, snake plants, they're really tough to kill. Trust me, I've tried. Um, as we go into the box here, you get a nice thank you postcard. You get the installation guide. And as you can see, it's really packed in um, nice and tight. These are shipping out of Italy, so these literally shipped across uh, the ocean to get to me. And um, it came all in one piece. You can see the copper finishes there. They have the, the nice plugs. We'll see if we can get this out. Oh, and there we go. Um, it's a plug, it's an adapter, it works, right? Not, nothing, uh, nothing too major there. We've also got the two little ropes, and those are going to be used for the, the self-watering aspect, so they're going to absorb the water from underneath and bring that up. So you can see here, this is the inner pot. So this is a kind of a two-pot system. You can see all these little holes in there. The, the inner pot is actually aerated, and this is what's going to allow the air to spin around um, the inside of the outer pot and be able to expose more of that air and, and so the volatile organic compounds into the roots of the plant where they're going to be um, broken down and basically just absorbed by the plant as, as food, as nutrients, right? Which is, which is pretty amazing. Um, and here is the outside of the pot. So you can see this is, it's still fairly large. And again, the packing of this, they obviously wanted to make sure it gets here in one piece. They put a lot of, uh, a lot of work into it. So here you go. Here is the, the fan that you can see there. Right, so at the bottom underneath there is a the plug. Um, turning this around, 
It is so shiny. You've got the Clary logo there on the bottom. This is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is the uh, the Rami, I think is the, the name of this particular model. Um, you can get these in different colors. You can get them in a black, in um, some aquamarine, I think, maybe a pink, right? So you've got the, um, the fan there, and then of course the sensors as well. It is a really beautiful piece. So moving on over to the app here, uh, the first thing we're presented with is a privacy policy. So this is an Italian company, which means they're in Europe, which means uh, GDRP applies. So again, you're gonna have to read through those, um, be familiar, protect your rights, all that good stuff. We're gonna go in here and create a new account. You could sign in with Facebook, Google. Uh, I don't personally like doing that. So why they're collecting, you know, the birth date and uh, gender and those kinds of things, I'm not quite sure. For those of you counting at home, yes, I have a birthday coming up. Um, access to your smartphone, okay, you use the password, so it's gonna give us a password. This is kind of nice, is that um, although it's not using something like the wireless, a simple configuration protocol, like we have in HomeKit or, or some of uh, Amazon, um, they are securing it right up front, so you, you are gonna need to know the password to be able to get onto your device. So we're gonna skip over to our wireless settings here, and there it is, Clary AP. We're gonna put in that uh, super secret password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. We will make sure that we are connected, and then we're gonna go back over to the Clary app, and then you can see Clary is connected, checking the serial number, checking the firmware, and again, I love this part, update available, right out of the box, brand new device, I've already got new firmware available. So I'm gonna click on the update tab, and I will go through that. Current version is 39, updated version is 46, and I will not make you guys watch this. So full disclosure, um. It kind of hung on me, the upgrade process. Uh, the app basically just went dead and, and um, didn't re became not unresponsive, but it never finished in the app the completion of the update process. So thankfully, it actually did complete in the device itself. And when I came back in, I was given that choice of I can either add it to my profile or I can create a local connection. So I asked Clary what that meant. And basically what they told me is that if you have multiple Clarys, you're going to need to have it in the profile. The historical data is kept in the cloud as well. So if you want to do uh, historical trending, you're also going to need to make sure that um, you have that in the profile. So I've got a Natade, which is the, the new generation. I was a Kickstarter backer. So that should be hopefully arriving in the next couple of months. Um, so I'm going to choose the um, add to my profile selection here. So again, full disclosure, I did have to go through this um, process a few times, um, I got it kind of crashed on me a little bit. The firmware seems to be a little bit buggy. It is um, fairly new, but again, there are updates coming all the time, and as more customers come on board, it's gonna get better. Um, so now it's gonna ask us, okay, well, let's configure our Clary, right? Um, let's select our plant, and this is what's really cool about this, is they have this um, kind of pre-populated list of all these different plants, that I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know all of them, but I'm, I know for sure some of them have these air purifying properties. They have the Latin name in here. They have the common name. Um, you can also put in your the color. So I have the Rami, which is the copper version. And would you like to allow it to access uh, my location? Sure. So it knows I'm in Broussard in Montreal, and that's fine. And now I can put in my Clary's name, right? So this is going to be my bronze Clary. I'm going to have the Natate coming. So I'm going to need to um, clarify that. And then I get to scan the QR code, which is on the box, for better customer service, which is, I think, just the serial number of my pot. So after all that's done, you get in, and um, this is the app interface. It's really simple. You have temperature there. You have humidity. And, of course, you have um, the air quality there right in the middle, which is perfect right now. Uh, just like I like things. You can go into your settings, of course, edit your info, your email, password, privacy options, all that stuff. You can revisit it if you want to. So as I said, they also have the ability to do the historical reporting in here. So you are going to want to connect that to your profile. Uh, so you can see you can get time, day, all that kind of stuff. Um, you also have the ability to turn on the fan if you want. So there's a little on the left hand side at the bottom, that fan icon. Uh, you can tap on that and it will sync up the fan status, connect to the device, and turn it on or off. This thing is really, really, really quiet. Um, I'm not overly sensitive to the fans. I'm kind of used to having that white noise. I actually enjoy it. 
Uh, but this one is really, really, really quiet. I don't think you would get much complaints uh, from anybody about this particular fan. And according to Clary, they say run it 24-7. It's okay. That's actually going to be better for your plants. Not to mention, it's going to be purifying your, your environment, your room, the whole time while that is. So, of course, the plants, the more that, that air comes in, the more it sucks it in, the more the plant's going to chew up all the, the VOCs in your air and uh, just give you some, some quality air to breathe. So, though I don't normally take you guys through the, the vendor's websites, uh, I did want to do that with Clary because I think it is worth the extra time if you're interested uh, in learning a little bit more about how this thing works um, and about indoor air pollution, air quality in general. I'm a big proponent for this. I think it makes a difference. I think anything we can do to make our our families' lives better, our kids healthier, all that kind of stuff is is going to be uh, awesome, right? So um, you can go in here. You can see the Y Clary. You can go into the technology. Um, you can even get into the scientific study of, of where they've proven it. So if you want to go and dig a little more into that, into the PNAT research, you can go and read that. Um, as well, the blog is pretty awesome. So there's a bunch of, of other articles on here pointing to you towards more information on how plants actually clean the air, if you're interested, um, which plants can boost your productivity. So there's just a whole bunch of kind of natural uh, biohacks, if you will, that really can help you um, understand how plants and different kinds of specific plants are going to make your life just a little bit better, right? Which is kind of cool. And with that, let's get over to the finished product. So again, you guys are going to have to live with this. You might not like the copper color. Uh, personally, I think it's shiny. It's beautiful. Um, it's super, super quiet. Uh, you can already see that there's the, the little um, white dust is actually the pollen coming from the peace lilies. So, you know, that just kind of happens when I put them in. We'll clean that up. But you can see here, brand new peace lily. Uh, beautiful. The Clary Smart Planter. Uh, just a gorgeous product. Um, not cheap, definitely not cheap, but it is a really gorgeous product, full bronze uh, planter. The self-watering, the VOC sensors, temp sensors, humidity, it's smart, it's beautiful, um, all the above. The only thing that I kind of found, the firmware, that's one, um, and the other one is the size of the plant. You really had to find something that I think the measurement of the pot I took was um, 10 inches, I believe. So I had to, I couldn't get a full sized uh, plant, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to put a snake plant in here, but I had to go find this kind of smaller sized. I wouldn't even call it medium, but smaller sized uh, peace lily to go in here, which I th I still think is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, um, peace lilies are phenomenal for purifying the air. Um, I personally like them; they look good. The green is beautiful. The flowers they flower all year long, right? So it, it's a good choice, anyways. I'm not too upset about that, but just realize you, you're gonna want to kind of figure out the size of the plant and make sure you measure what will fit inside here because it's not going to be um, the entire s full size of the outer pot as you may assume when you're first looking at this. And that brings us to the end. So what do you guys think? Um, worth the investment? Yes? No? Uh, what is it that you would like to see them do in here? Um, all those kind of questions, you know what to do. Put them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Likes are always appreciated. It Ring that bell so you can be notified. There's at least a couple videos going out a week right now. Uh, Tuesdays is Smart Home Tuesdays. Thursdays is going to be HomeKit specific videos. So we'll keep true to the, uh, the HomeKit Geek logo there and keep the Apple content coming every week. And if you want to learn how to make your house a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, do me a favor, look in the video details below and uh, there will be a coupon code in there for my Udemy course. Thanks.